Sabayam Infoware Financial Period Management End software. Click on the login space and immediately you're taken to the dashboard showing you the current activity. Because our platform is brand new, there's uh, no records in the system, nothing is to be shown here yet. We have done a number of things to set up this system though. For example, in the source definition area, we've defined sources, which includes the types of records that we'll be processing, the fields in those records, the types of business events that we should see, and the record structures and layouts that we want to have on the platform and that will be coming from the input files. Another area of the system that we've already set up is with the rules. These rules, when they find files with certain values in them, the rules populate the system with the appropriate data structures. Data structures for our system include purchase orders, payments, revenue, and uh, contract structures. If we look at the payment rules, when values are found in the selection criteria of an EV03 in the data structure, they will execute these rules. For each record with an EV03 in it, we'll create two journal records, a debit and a credit, also create an arrangement record structure, an involved party, and an audit trail record. In the journal structure, you can see the rules designate populating values from either field values, constant, different logic constructs. The net result is, once we run our files through this system, we will have populated FPEM with a very rich data source that includes summary general ledger control-like structures, but also contract and vendor and detailed subledger-like attributes typically found only in separate environments, all integrated into one environment. FPEM can be configured to take data through streams and various ways to get data. For our little purposes here today, we're simply going to upload data in the manual adjustment facility. So we'll process a number of files here to get data into the system and then show you what the reports look like. Here we've selected the first two files of our set of files we've uploaded and we'll process these and see what the reports look like. Let's go to the report editor to save reports. We'll look at the trial balance and see what the data we've loaded looks like. When we execute the report, we can see the trial balance. We can expand each one of the categories to see the balance sheet, the assets and liabilities. Within assets and liabilities, we can see inventory and current commitments and then expand more to see the subcategories to those. This is the specification of the T accounts we've decided to design for this data. Here you can see the initial events that we've posted into the system. The blue color show the second set of files that we'll post and the business events associated with those. We'll now return to the manual adjustment facility. Having processed all the PO data, We'll now select all of the payment files and process those. When the files have completed processing, our dashboard's updated. You can see many more records have been loaded. New organization, chart of account, data. So let's go look at the updated trial balance report. Click on the report and resubmit. We'll see the new balances in our data. Drilling down on the trial balance, we now see the income statement shows up in addition to the uh, balance sheet, assets, and liabilities because we've recognized expenses in the new set of transactions with our uh, payments. You can see how these balances are be drilled down into. Additional attributes could be added to the report, and uh, new queries could be developed quite easily. These show a very detailed uh, set of categories for our reporting processes. If we modify a report or create a new report using the drop-down list, putting the involved party at the top of our report, we can go see about specific involved parties on our report, seeing what values that they have. This goes beyond your typical general ledger to be able to get down to details about specific uh, vendors, specific involved parties, we can see here that the Adams Michael company has provided contractual services like employee training, travel, and travel assistance.
We'll now go process the last set of entries marked here in red. After we kick these off, let's go look at the actual processing we've done so far on the platform. From the control area, we can go see the actual processing results uh, on the system and what the values have been in the record counts. You can see from the drop-down list here that there's a lot of different uh, entries here in this uh, table. We can see from the specific uh, runs we've done, one, two, and three, on the drop-down list, what the results of our processing has been. Going back and checking on the files and seeing that our processing is complete, let's go check our reports out. As we look at the report, we can begin to drill down on the trial balance, and now we see that we have revenues as well. These last entries including revenue accounts. You can see the details within these. Drill around and create new reports. Understand your financial data much better than you can in many other types of reporting situations. This is a cloud-native uh, ERP ledger environment providing end-to-end -end processing from rules clear through to reporting processes. Very uh, sophisticated in terms of the level of details it can manage. Integrated general ledger, sub-ledger functionality, being able to drill down and see individual transactions for individual vendors and customers. A very powerful environment here from Salayam Technology.